Hi, welcome to this video on the basics of vanadium redox flow batteries. So in general, um, flow batteries can be quite useful for a sort of process of um, peak shaving and load leveling. And what I mean by this is you can have a, like a microgrid where you have a um, renewable source of energy, be it photovoltaic. You know, you get obviously the energy when the sun's shining and then the energy goes away um, when there's cloud cover it's at night and at, by having things like flow batteries you can kind of store that um, energy or that charge and um, essentially return it when um, the renewable is not actually active but let me jump into the actual science specifically on the uh, vanadium redox flow um, battery so what i'm about to say is generic for most flow batteries that will have an, uh, an electrode um, an ion separation membrane and another electrode between these um, electrodes, we will have um, electrolyte. So there's a sort of um, a positive um, half cell and a sort of negative half cell. Whether electrons flow in or flow out depends whether you're in the charge or discharge cycle, but you will see that um, in a minute. So we have um, two loops going on here or two. Um, we have a pump and a, um, I would sort of say a reservoir or positive electrolyte um, tank. And we have a, another pump with another sort of fluidic loop. And we have a sort of negative electrolyte tank. Now, here we put power source or load. And obviously, if it's a photovoltaic that's or a wind turbine, you know, at that point, it's a power source. So you're essentially charging this battery. Um, and maybe later on at night, when you're kind of running lights and refrigeration, for example, then you would consider it a load. And that would be when you're discharging this um, flow battery. Um, so what the flow battery is doing is um, these pumps are pumping and they're moving essentially um, in the case of a, a vanadium redox flow battery, they are pumping um, vanadium in different oxidation states into these um, half cells. So here we bring in um, vanadium 2 plus in um, and we are in the discharge um, cycle. So what vanadium 2 plus is doing is giving over electrons to the electrode. And these electrons are um, traveling around an external um, circuit and they enter, um, well, enter, they transition to um, vanadium 5 plus that's in the sort of positive half of the um, cell. And um, what that means then is there's also a um, migration or diffusion of protons across the ion um, membrane. And the vanadium 2 plus that gave up that electron and that electron went around the external path and did something, did some useful work. If I can um, put it that way, um, that um, that loss of electron from the vanadium 2 plus um, then caused us to have vanadium 3 plus. The vanadium 5 plus picked up um, an electron and became vanadium 4 plus. So that's a sort of discharge cycle of a um, of a vanadium redox flow battery. Now I'm going to talk about the charge cycle. So in the charge cycle, it's a pretty similar story, but um, everything's just um, in, in reverse, let's say. So um, this time we've kind of just, um, the battery got charged up, for example, during the daytime and we discharged it during the night. Um, and now we're gonna sort of charge it back up um, during the daytime again. So we sort of pumping our vanadium four plus, our vanadium four plus um, gives up electrons this time. And um, those electrons um, path travel around the external um, circuit and um, travel into the vanadium 3 plus which is also being pumped by an, another pump from its um, reservoir and the vanadium 2 plus becomes sorry the vanadium 3 plus becomes vanadium 2 plus um, at the same time earlier on the proton went or the hydrogen hydroxonium ion the proton people give it different names but this I uh, say proton travels in the um, opposite direction to the previous slide and so the proton moves back across the vanadium 4 plus gave up an electron and becomes vanadium 5 plus and so what i've described quickly is that um, a vanadium reflux a vanadium redox flow battery um, consists of two half cells with an electrode sort of either um, bordering these two half cells and in between the half cells is a um, ion membrane so across which these protons are shuttling and you can see that we're recycling vanadium um, in different redox states through those two half cells. And then you can see that we sort of reverse the process between charge and discharge. If you have any questions really around um, flow batteries and the technologies that we have at ZP um, around um, 
the electroanalysis of flow batteries, both in situ, but also in sort of development, then I would ask you to um, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at ZP. Okay, thanks very much.